Mm -hmm. Improving muscle mobility or flexibility is something a lot of people request when they come into court. Oftentimes they're looking for improved hamstring flexibility or it can be any other body part. When they come in, this can be someone who's an Olympic athlete, a grandparent, or someone just looking to lose weight. However, the complexity of muscle range of motion or just range of motion and flexibility is much more complex than just the muscle and maybe muscle tightness or stiffness. To demonstrate this, I'm going to show you my toe touch mobility and then do some self myofascial releases with the baseball underneath my foot and we'll see what happens. So to assess my um, flexibility or mobility, I'm just going to do a simple toe touch. So I'm just going to come down and I get to about mid shin. As you can see here, I've been sitting doing too much riding, I have a big stretch in the back of my leg, really in my calves as well as my hamstrings. So to improve that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this baseball and roll it underneath my foot or both of my feet here for about two minutes. I'm really gonna add a lot of pressure through the ball here, trying to go nice and slow when I hit those tender spots. So right now I'm on one, I'm just staying and keeping that pressure constant. Okay, so like I was saying, mobility and flexibility are a very complex topic. And you may be wondering why rolling a ball underneath my feet may improve range of motion on the toe touch. Well, a recent study showed that this actually does improve range of motion, but we really don't know why exactly yet. There's a lot of different theories on how this may improve vascular mobility, neural mobility, or maybe just the fascial connection between the muscles in the back of the leg and the foot. So let's break all those components down because each one could be a factor involved in this. So one, people will often think once again of flexibility as simple muscle length or muscle tightness but it can be other things. One could be neuromobility. We have nerves that originate in our low back that run down the back of our leg. If these nerves aren't sliding and gliding well throughout our body, they can send signals of tightness and restrict mobility. Another thing could be arterial or vascular mobility. Our veins and our arteries are all throughout our body, and if they're not moving and gliding well, they may also restrict mobility. Then once again, we have fascia. Fascia is just kind of the connective tissue that connects a lot of different structures and tissues throughout the body. If this area is tight, then once again, we can have poor mobility or flexibility in our body. That's the main theory on why this technique may improve our toe touch flexibility because the fascia underneath the bottom of our foot, the plantar fascia as we call it, connects to the calcaneus, which is the heel, which connects to the calf and into the hamstrings. So it's kind of the old saying, this thing's connected to that thing, and so on and so forth. If we have poor mobility of our plantar fascia, that could influence some of the other fascia throughout our body and our toe touch mobility. So once again, you saw me switch sides here. Now I'm working on the left side. And once again, with these techniques, I, I usually recommend a baseball, but you can use a lot of different things that you have around the house. Usually for the foot, you need something pretty firm, so maybe a baseball, golf ball, lacrosse ball would work best, but if you only have a tennis ball or maybe even a, geez, I don't know, a dog toy or something laying around, you can even roll around on that and give it a try. Okay, when I'm doing this, you know, I have a, a little bit of discomfort, but it's like a deep massage. It's a hurt so good sort of feeling. So if, if you're wondering, you know, how much sensation should you have? If 10 is so much sensation or discomfort, you're gonna cry, and zero is I could fall asleep on this thing, we want to be in the four to six range. So we want to feel it, but it shouldn't be so much you can't relax or, or you shouldn't just be able to roll on it and have it so sensitive that you're going to cry and you can't relax at all. We also don't want to be able to fall asleep while we're doing this, fall, bump your head, have all kinds of issues, okay? So once again, rolling underneath my foot, finding those tender spots, Ooh, right there, I'm just hanging out right on it, trying to really get a nice release here. Okay, I'm not sure if it's been two foot on the left side, but nonetheless, I've run out of things to chat about, so let's go ahead and check this toe touch mobility. So last time I got to about mid shin, now as I'm coming down, wow, all the way down touching my toes here. And this isn't to suggest that I don't feel a stretch here at all, I still feel a pretty big stretch, and there's probably other factors involved here other than just my tight plantar fascia pulling on the fascia in the back of my leg. But this just is to prove there's a lot of factors involved with mobility. And if you are looking for range of motion improvements, make sure you have a reason behind wanting to improve that range of motion. Who cares if you can touch your toes if it's not functional and you can't use it. But if you want to try this for yourself, grab a tennis ball, baseball, lacrosse ball, golf ball, 
three minutes under each foot and check it out for yourself.